Hey guys, here's the top 10 anime of 2021 on the Japanese streaming website. Number 10, Non Non Biori, Non Stop. This is one of the purest slice of life anime where nothing really happens, but with moments that make you feel warm inside and appreciate the little joys in life. I love this anime so much that it's painful to see it end. Number 9. Hataraku Saibo Black. Cells at Work, Code Black. This is a spin off of the main series, Cells at Work. It's a satirical take of Japan's overworking culture. Black comes from the expression Black Company, which is a company with a toxic working culture. This is an anime that makes me want to take care of my body better. Number 8. Kimetsu no Yaiba, Mugen Resha Hen, Demon Slayer Season 2. I think Demon Slayer would rank higher if we included TV views, as there are lots of kids who watch shonen anime like this on TV. Remember, this is a list based on the streaming website, which has its own demographic. Number 7. Kyuketsuki Sugushinu. The Vampire Dies in No Time. This is a comedy anime where a vampire keeps dying even though he acts tough. I'm not sure why this anime is on this list because I don't find it particularly funny. It's good. It's the best anime of this season. Number 6. Uma Musume, Pretty Derby. Season 2. Uma Musume means horse girls. And it's based on the super popular mobile game in Japan. Each girl personifies the real-life racehorse in Japan and they compete against each other. It's actually not as eccentric as it sounds. This anime is essentially a mix of sports and idol anime. I thought it was just an eccentric anime, but it made me cry. Number 5. Higurashi no Nakukoro ni Go Higurashi, when they cry, go. This is a sequel of the original Higurashi series which had terrible drawings. But think of the fact that the anime was very popular despite the visual flaws. The story made it worth watching. The new series still doesn't have top-notch animation, but the story is still interesting. So watch it. Number 4. Jujutsu Kaisen I think the reason that Jujutsu Kaisen is higher on this list than Demon Slayer is because it's more mature, which probably reflects the demographic of this streaming site. Number 3. Yurukyan Season 2. Laid Back Camp Season 2. The premise is very simple. Girls gone camping. Sometimes alone, sometimes in a group. That's it. Very simple. And lots of people love it. In this anime, emotional expressions and voice acting can be rather subtle. I think these subtle expressions in this anime make it feel authentic and relatable to many Japanese people. Number 2. Kobayashi Sanchi no Maid Dragon S. Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid Season 2. It's hard to beat Kyoto animation when it comes to slice of life moe anime. I noticed that this one is more expressive, more story driven, and has more pronounced cuteness than the other slice of anime on this list, which may contribute to its popularity. Personally, I love the super cute opening. This work has a lot of slice of life elements, but I could watch it without getting bored. Is it perhaps because the story settings or character interactions are good? Number 1. Mushoku Tensei Isekai Ittara Honki Das Season 1 and 2. Of course, there's an isekai anime on this list. Both season 1 and season 2 are at the top of this list, so this is a clear winner. There is something about this unemployed middle-aged guy reincarnated as a baby that resonates with people. The original novel is well made, but this anime is more impressive. The visuals, expressions, characters, everything goes well beyond the novel's charm. But with anime like Non Non Biori, where subtle expressions are important, a lot of things are lost in translation. So if you want to learn Japanese with me and understand anime deeply, I will teach you the kind of Japanese that real life Japanese people today actually speak, which can be different from the kind of Japanese that textbooks and apps teach you. So click the link and subscribe to my email group, Japanese with Yuta. Alright, see you guys soon. Ciao, ciao!